Hey guys, welcome back to Bear Mountain Builds. I'm Zach, and today I'm gonna to show you how I finished off this assembly slash outfeed table with these great birch drawers. I built this assembly slash outfeed table a couple months back and I gotta say I've loved having it in the shop and it's been super useful. But part of my original design was to put some drawers in down here for a little extra storage. However, the price of wood got ridiculous for a while so I decided to just kind of push this back. Now, the price of wood is down, life's good, and it's time to build some drawers. All of my drawers are gonna be going into this cavity here. So I'll have eight on this side then eight on the far side. Now, what I'm gonna to do to start off is build kind of a carcass inside of here, and I'm gonna use 3 quarter inch MDF to make these walls. So one will be here, one will be all the way over here, and one will be right in the middle. Now let's keep going. When I cut down large sheets of plywood or MDF, I like using my DeWalt circular saw, which is a lot less awkward than using a table saw, and it cuts like butter. I'm cutting these to sit back a half inch from the outside edge so that the drawer fronts will be flush with the frame. Okay, so I still need to put my center MDF piece in, but you can tell there's not a whole heck of a lot of structure in here. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna drill some pocket holes in that MDF so that they can mount into these two by fours up here, and then also go down into the plywood down here. I stripped down a bunch of these two by four lengths into half inch thick, then I'm gonna use as ribs that I'll mount up here on these two by fours, and then down here on the plywood, and these are basically gonna pinch that MDF in place. Now let's keep going. Starting to get a little tight for a bigger guy. Okay, so I got the sidewalls in place. They are rock solid and perfectly parallel. So now it's time to move on to the drawers. So I'm gonna be making 16 total drawers of four different heights. Let's keep going. Cutting down half inch MDF to make the sides of the drawers. I'm using MDF instead of plywood because it's cheaper and this is for my shop, not a kitchen, so I don't really need to worry about moisture getting into the wood. All right, after extensive measuring, labeling, and cutting, all of my drawer sides are ready to go. So now I'm gonna be gluing and brad nailing them together using these 90 degree positioning clamps. Let's keep going. All right, so for this part, I thought I would take advantage of this really nice assembly table I have here and make a fixture for doing all these 90 degrees. So first, you take your wood, glue on both sides, load in your long piece here, fit in the short piece in between, load in your last long piece on this side, then brad nailer, brad nailer, boom, half the drawer done, moving on to the other side. Now, let's put this thing to work. I gotta say, this fixture really did make this part go fast, and if you ever find yourself making 16 drawers at once, you should get yourself a set of these clamps.
I got plenty of drawers, all 16 are done. Now we're moving on to the bottom, and I'm gonna be cutting that out of quarter inch standard plywood. Let's keep going. I'm not going to be listing any of my dimensions in this video because I'll have my free plans for these drawers on my website, linked down in the description. All 16 of my drawers are done, and I gotta say, they're perfectly square and look really good. However, I am drawered out for a while. But now, we're moving on to the drawer slides. So I have these Craig drawer slide jigs. They'll make the installation go super fast and easy, so let's keep going. I set my drill bit to a half an inch so I don't drill through my three quarter inch walls. These Craig slider jigs made installing the drawer slide super easy. Just make sure to flush up the front of the slide with the edge of the sidewall. Short screws have the tendency to strip easily, so I'm snugging these with my impact driver and then taking them to final torque the hand. So when you're putting drawer slides in, it can get real awkward and crazy when you have a tape measure in here that you're trying to hold and read and draw inside, and it just gets a little hectic. But there is a faster and easier way you can do it once you have your first set of drawer slides in. So you need to take a piece of really straight board like this piece of MDF I have, and you can just put it up against the ends here and take another piece of board and put it underneath the slide. And then all you need to do is draw a line on that board and boom, you have exactly where that slide's gonna go on the next piece over here. Now, let's keep going. All right, so I have all of my slides in now. They're looking really good. However, this did reveal a slight issue with the slides. Now these slides say that they're supposed to be a half inch thick. They're actually about a half inch plus a 32nd of an inch. So these drawers over here that I built to fit perfectly at 18 inches across are actually just a hair too tight that can cause these slides to bind. So what I did to fix this was I took my router and routing table and just routed out a channel that is a 32nd of an inch deep on both sides of the drawer here. That way they can slide in nice and smooth. So with that out of the way, I'm gonna be starting to put the drawers in. So putting these drawers in is actually gonna be super easy because I have all of these sliders spaced exactly per my plan, so I know exactly what the gap is supposed to be between each individual drawer, which means I can just build this from the bottom all the way up. So starting off, I have some spacers down in here, 
that'll make it so that my bottom drawer is gonna have a quarter inch of a gap between this bottom piece right here and the actual bottom of the drawer. And then once I have that first drawer in, I'll just move on to the next one, put some more spacers on top of the bottom drawer, put the next drawer in, and just so on and so forth. Now let's get going. I'm using a long piece of MDF to flush the slider up with the front of the drawer and incrementally pulling out the drawer as I add screws. See, it's super easy using two three quarter inch spacers. You set the drawer in and you screw it in place. All the drawers are in, they work great, and they look really good. So now we're moving on to the drawer fronts. Now, I'm gonna be using this half inch birch plywood for my drawer fronts. It's gonna match really well at the top of my table here, so it's gonna look super good once it's done. And I'm gonna be cutting it out so that way I have continuous grain throughout all my drawer panels. So let's keep going. Pro tip, when you're cutting a veneer plywood, do yourself a favor and do a test cut first so you know which side should be up so you don't blow out your veneer and leave a jagged edge. All right, I just wanted to take a second to show you how I'm determining the height of my drawer faces here. So for this part, the dimensions I know are the three quarter inch space in between each drawer and that there's gonna be a quarter inch space between the bottom drawer face and the frame down here. So what that means is that I can measure from the bottom down here to the top of that drawer and then once I shift that up a quarter of an inch, that will be my drawer face. So I cut out this piece, like this, right here and it sits flush with this bottom drawer, the top of that bottom drawer. Now I can put my quarter inch shims in like that and that's exactly where my drawer face is going to be. So with this in place I know I have a half inch gap between the top of this and the bottom of this drawer. So I can do the same process where I measure from the top of this drawer face to the top of this second drawer right here, and that's gonna be the height of my next drawer, which is shown by this one, which is perfectly flush with the next one, the next drawers. So, put it in the shims. And it fits right where it's supposed to be. And then you just repeat the same process for this next drawer. Now, for this final top drawer, I have to put in my quarter inch space here along with my quarter inch space between the drawer face and the top of the frame. So, I can take this dimension from the top of this drawer face and the dimension to the bottom of this frame and then just subtract half an inch and that will program in my quarter inch spaces. 
So it will just fit in like this. Now with all my horizontal cuts done, it's time to start cutting vertical to get my individual drawer faces. So I'm gonna be cutting it so I have a quarter inch space on this edge, a quarter inch space in the middle, and a quarter inch space on the sides. Let's keep going. When you're attaching drawer fronts, make sure your screws are short enough so they don't poke through. I added a washer to my one inch screws since my drawer fronts are also one inch thick. All right, the drawer fronts are on and it's looking really great. We're so close, we're almost there. Now I'm gonna be putting on my drawer handles here. They're just gonna be going on an inch and a half below the top of the drawer face here. And these all came with one inch long screws and one and a half inch long screws. Now sadly I need one and a quarter. So I went and bought some and now we're gonna put these on. I made this jig that I can just clamp onto the front of these drawer faces, that way I have Holes pre-drilled here, and it'll be super easy. Now let's keep going. The drawers are done. They're looking super sharp and they work really great. I'm really excited with how this is turning out, but I have one more thing to really make this entire table pop and then it will be beauty shots. So let's finish it up. All right, with this, the assembly outfit table is finished, and I gotta say, I am so stoked with how it turned out. The black frame with the poly birch drawers and top, oh, it just works out so well. I'm super pleased with this. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button for me. Also, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I'm still kinda new to YouTube, so I'd appreciate all your comments. It helps out the channel a lot too and hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything and you'll be able to stay up to date on all of my videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Uh, uh, wait, where are my glasses? <laughs> all right, I was fully unprepared. <laughs>